Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Shane and you're in the Navy. This is the D1 XL Black version 1.4. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh. Take the plastic cover off. Oh, that's it. Plastic protection is on the fore edge of the top, on the bottom as well. And here is the suitcase. And then here's a zipper. A phone, a phone. And then open it. I'll just take the foam out first. Take the foam out first. This is the port filter. Beautiful. Can you see the 18 grams? This is the 18 grams basket. It's marked as 18. Drip tray. And inside of here, I can see something. So I'll just take the rubber band out. This is a drip tray cover, charger cable, USB charger cable, blind basket. I can see that. Handle for the machine because machine is too light. So when you put the port filter in or port filter out, you hold the handle and then take it out. Then it'll be easier. T10 Torx screwdriver, three screws to hold the tablet on the machine. So hold the tablet stand on the machine. So that's the three screws. The, this one is flathead T10 and here is T10 Torx sort of wrench. Eh. This is the tablet and tablet stand. Tablet stand is already attached on the tablet. And then finally the 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 machine. This is the machine. I just oh take the foam out. Try to I actually I can do it like this. Yeah, let me just take another foam out. Third foam is out. It's quite heavier than previous one because the water tank is already underneath. So, that's it. And for doing my job easier, I'm just gonna take the water tank out first. And there is ugh, back cover. It's actually attached by the magnet, so you can just da -da -da, take it out. And there are four metals and those are the magnets. The lever is already lifted, so actually I can I can take the water tank out. Yeah. Water tank. So slide it front, then you can take it out. I can take it out. We can take it out. And I just put it on here. So in case I just organize it. Put two in here, put two in here. Probably this is the right way to close the zipper. Ah, uh, that's it. Ah, uh, smooth. Ah, uh, perfect. So D1 XL and on the back, if you see the back, the rubber band is holding the lever for the uptake. So just take it out. I don't see the switch. Some of the model has the switch on here. That's the emergency switch. It's full mirrored, right? Ah, yeah. This is kind of like old kind of version 1.3, like D1 Pro. So I have a prototype D1 Cafe, so probably that one have the switch. In here, there is a water tank. So here is my kata. So here's my kata. So I just ink, ink, ink. And inside of the water tank, there is more. So this is the power cable and this so this one is actually still is stand. We sell it separately. So if you want to have this one, you can just order separately. Okay, oh my uh, Here is the water, the ceramic water tank. I need to keep this one because when I just move the machine with the water tank, then I have to like repack the water tank in this one. So this is EU standard, but Korea is similar like this. So it fits on like Korean outlets. Nice. Before putting the water in the water tank, I'm just gonna put the tablet on here. I'm just gonna hold the tablet stand on the machine. I'll show you how to do that. You don't have to like put the tablet on here because this angle is perfect for putting like tablet on the table or countertop or something. So you can use it like this. So here are three holes and here are three holes. So line the holes up like this. Use the included three like T10 Torx screw, put it in here. So do it 
this one first. Hard to do with my one hand. There you go. And then tie it up. Not all the way in, but like as much as it goes in, but you can still move a little bit so that you can line the holes up when you put this one and this one in. And the second one, put it in here. There you go. The final one as well. I just sit the screw in here slightly. Don't tie it too much. If you use a little bit of force and it doesn't move, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Done. Woo! And then connect the USB cable on there. Port is on here. This one here. You can see that right. And this one here. So put this one in there. Something like this. Oh, that's it. And then 5 pin goes in here. Push it in. Oh, that's it. And then now on, I'm gonna connect the handle. This one is handle. Oh, shit. So here's the handle. And the handle goes on here. There is hole, threaded hole in there. So screw it in. That's it. Water and water tank. So, so when you put your machine up by the switch behind, you have to manually fill your water tank up first. It doesn't sense the water in the machine, then it never like turns on properly, boots up properly. So you have to fill the water tank up at the very first time. And then put the water tank between the leg and then push it in. Um, and there is a uptake so it's blocking the way so there is lever if you lift it up the uptake goes up like this and then you can push the water tank in all the way in and then drop the lever down then yeah water tank is set and now drip tray and drip tray cover it's easy peasy it goes on here that's it done take the plastic cover off on the steam wand and the group head controller so that's it i have to cut this one this little tiny cable tie thingy yep yeah i need to cut it eventually i'm gonna cut it anyway use a seizure oh yes pore filter horizontal make it from this angle don't want to push it too hard it stops at here and then i just connect the power cable but i already have the power cable like connected to the outlet so anyway it goes in like this and stop it here like this and then just turn it like this that's it then your power cable is connected so this one is pushed in, that's off, and this one is pushed in, that's on. So I just turn the machine on, then the group head controller start to make the like LED light thing. And then the yellow light means it's booting up, it's in the booting cycle. Start the uh, pump testing, then pumping to suck the water up into the machine. Yeah, that's it. And it sucks up the air first, so it's quite noisy, air, and the water, and the pressure builds up, up, and it started to preheating and it turns on properly, that's it guys, and yeah, don't forget to put the back panel like this, that's it guys, thank you for watching! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,